Saturday morning on the way to work. Actually, I'm a few minutes late, but on the way to work. Um, today, working from the office is gonna be real different. Let me show you why. <laughs> Part of riding the one wheel is climbing these stairs with heavy. Whew. Get your morning workout. Empty office. Yeah, dude, the office is super empty today. They sent everybody home for coronavirus. The good thing is, give us time to get, give us time to get in charge of our projects. Yeah, we got And it. we get to listen to EDM music as loud as we want all day long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, everybody from the office was sent home this Friday. They cannot come to the office. Marcus and I have to stay here because we're IT support. We cannot do it from home. But instead, it's pretty good. You get your time to do all your projects that we have to do, so we're gonna be taking care of those today. Twelve o'clock. Time to get some food. I usually eat at the office on Fridays. There's something always on the fridge. But since yesterday they say that everybody's gonna be working from home, they also tell them take everything from the fridge. So. I went this morning to grab something from the fridge. It was empty, dude, they take everything away. But, I mean, no big deal. Food is a few blocks away, so just go get it. Sunday's Daily. Best sandwiches anywhere. I'm gonna be honest. When I heard the news that everybody was gonna work from home except IT support, in a way I feel kind of like, oh, I cannot do it either. But the office is all alone, so I don't know, in a way you feel more productive. You got stuff to do. Nobody like, is not bothering you, but nobody's like slacking you like, hey, I need your help. So it's kind of good. My food. Damn, Marcus. Be protected from Corona. Yeah, <laughs> don't catch the bug. <laughs> Time to go take out Luna. Uh, I think she's the only one who's not been freaking out about the coronavirus. Like for example, yesterday. Dude, yesterday we went to Publix and we were like, okay, let's just go and get some uh, toilet paper and like everything that we need for the house. It's just that we haven't done groceries in a while. So I decided like, dude, we run out of toilet paper. Let's just get one. Okay, all of this, all of this is ridiculous. Dude, there's no toilet paper. Nothing. Come on. I think just Floridians have the wrong idea of priorities. Like, why toilet paper? I don't understand it. But I think it's everybody. No? I don't know. I think it's like everybody that is buying toilet paper. There was none. Like, the whole thing was empty. So, yeah, like, the week has been a little bit... How can I say it? Everybody's on the edge. And... I'm gonna be honest, like, I think that just because of media, like, yeah, they tell you, like, all oh, the bunch of dead people there has happened, which is terrible, don't get me wrong, but there is also a shitload of people that has been recovering, they're living their life normally after this. So, if you're my age, a little bit older than my age, you're gonna be fine, dude. You don't need 6,000 toilet papers. Why you need your butt that clean? That's, 
that's just crazy. In other news, I get to new, I get to meet the new guy that is joining our, our IT team. His name is David Magruder. Well, we call it Magruba. Magruba. He's a pretty cool guy. He lives for 10 years in Japan, so he speaks Japanese. That's awesome. And he looks like a really fun guy. Hello, Buna Bear. Ready to go out? Are you? I'll take that as a yes. Good news this week. I gotta go, but this lady right here, she went to Pittsburgh for the weekend and she just got back. Well, right. she got back on Monday. She's back. Hello. Hello. Hi, babe. How was work? Good. 